So I recently finished my first semester at the Münster School of Design and I thought it would be a nice idea to share the very first sketchbook that I finished during my time there. And in here I have all the schoolwork I did for my drawing class, but also a lot of personal work. So I think it took me roughly two months to finish this one. And uh, this is the sketchbook I'm using and I'm going to put the information down in the description as well. So this was schoolwork, for example, where you have to look at the thing you're drawing, like a photo or ideally the real life, real life version of the thing. But um, unfortunately, I didn't have a life, uh, real life tiger at home. So I used a photo and you only look at the photo in this case and not on the paper at all. And yeah, this is the result. Not this one, obviously. <laughs> This is another schoolwork. I think this was actually the second lesson in the semester where we went to a museum and everyone had to draw one of the exhibitions. And this is also pretty much the first time I was really using using colored pencil. Like pretty much at all, I guess. Or at least to color in. Yeah, I was just testing out how well this sketchbook would work with watercolors. This is another homework assignment actually, where we, you know, had to practice some um, perspective. And my friend's room is, you know, not this clean, but I decided that she would not have anything on her shelves because <clears throat> perspective is not my favorite thing to do. Here we had to practice drawing um, the other students in the class pretty much um, like as fast as possible, I guess, because the people there didn't really want to sit there for 10 hours. <laughs> and I actually, um, I'm really proud of these ones. Like I love drawing portraits, but um, usually I take more time. <laughs> oh, did I? Yep, skip the page. This is another assignment. Um, the actual pictures are later on somewhere in this book. Um, but my teacher brought like little toy animals and everyone had to choose one or two and draw five pictures based on like wide shots, close ups, um, extreme close ups as well and all that stuff. Some more doodles. More doodles. Yeah, um, it was October, the month of Halloween. And I'm so proud of the spider, by the way. I think this is the first time I've ever really drawn a spider. More perspective practice. <laughs> I actually really like this one. Oh, and here, like I'm usually the kind of person, um, in my opinion, it, you don't have to have the most expensive art supplies to um, to get good results. Uh, but during this picture, I switched from, I, d I don't remember the name of my other watercolors, but I switched over to uh, Schmincke watercolors and oh my God, they're so good. Like I used, I, I don't know if you can see it that clearly, <clears throat> uh, but I did this one with my old water watercolors, like the, the yellows and these ones with the Schmincke one. And this is so much better. So yeah, you don't have to have the most expensive art supplies, but it is like, it might be a good idea to invest a little bit of money. Yeah, some birds. It's not my sketchbook unless there's some, there are some birds in there somewhere, especially owls or kakapos. Love that kakapo. <laughs> Oops. This is what happens when I'm waiting for the train. <laughs> Yeah, this is more schoolwork where um, my teacher brought this giant stick and, you know, everyone had to pose with this for with it um, for, I believe, five minutes, maybe less. And we had to draw each other. Also, I struggled with this one because my um, this is actually the last school assignment I did in here. And uh, my sketchbook was almost full. So later on, there's some really 
cramped pages. <laughs> but they still look like nice. I actually like the aesthetic of like really full pages. Oh, my teacher did this to explain the first assignment. This as well. This is mine again. Just a doodle. Yeah, this is the toy animal one. There's plastic in the oceans. That's not good. I think this might be one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook, actually. I'm pretty proud of these. Yeah, there it's... I was just trying to use every little space I had. Again, I'm so proud of these ones. This one as well, actually, but especially these ones. And yeah, this is the last page. Just some more colors, swatches, and a crop. <laughs> <laughs> 